Hi everyone and welcome back to Catherine's Plates. I'm Catherine, your host. You just caught me coming out of my pantry. I was looking for what's for dinner on a Friday when you don't eat meat. I found some tuna. Cans of solid white albacore tuna in water. I'm going to pair it with these noodles. I don't know why I didn't think of this before. Tuna noodle casserole. Okay, y'all. Compare your recipe to mine, and let's get started. Okay, I'm going to start cooking up my pasta. Now, I've got about 12 ounces of the No Yolks egg white pasta, and these are dumpling shapes. Pretty cool. What we're going to do is cook these per the instructions on the back of the package. Let's add some salt to it. We're going to cook these for 10 minutes. In my casserole, I like to make my own sauce. Okay, I don't use canned, like cream of chicken soup or cream of mushroom soup. So I'm going to go ahead and start chopping up some vegetables here. I'm just going to add some flavor as always. I've got a celery stalk here. Now I just sliced it down the whole length of it in fours and then I'm just going to dice it into pieces. Added one tablespoon of butter to my pan on medium-high heat and I've placed my chopped up celery and onions in there and what we're going to do is cook this down for about three to five minutes until it's nice and soft on the onions. Okay, I'm going to add one teaspoon of garlic. Okay, that smells really good. What we're going to do now is add three tablespoons of butter because we're going to start making our roux for our nice white sauce. Let's melt that in. Okay, I'm going to go ahead now and add three tablespoons of flour so we can start thickening this up. We're going to stir this around continuously for about two minutes. What we're doing is just cooking that raw flour taste out of that flour. Okay, I'm going to add two cups of chicken broth. And one cup of milk. Okay, we're going to go ahead now and add our salt. We're going to start seasoning up here. Some pepper. Okay, we're going to mix this all up. We're going to taste it because this is where we want to start seasoning things. Okay, that's delicious. So what we're looking to do now is thicken this up. So we're going to continually stir for about three to four minutes. Okay, it is really nice and thick. That is really nice. We're going to go ahead now and turn off the burner. Okay, let's go ahead and add two cans of our tuna. I kind of drained these. <laughs> I don't want all that liquid going in there. Okay. 
and let's put in two cups of frozen peas. Or all of them. There we go. Okay, stir everything well to combine everything. Okay, so I've drained my pasta. I'm going to add it back to my large pot here. Okay, doesn't that look delicious? It smells amazing. We've got everything all mixed up. Let's go ahead now and add cheese. Okay, so I've got some Parmesan cheese and I'm looking to grate about a quarter of a cup. spraying my 9 by 13 baking dish just with a cooking spray. Alright, I'm going to add my noodle mixture. Now that's what I'm talking about with a pantry dish. <laughs> Look at that. Okay, I'm going to sprinkle some cheddar cheese across the top of it. Yeah, we're not done yet. We got some good stuff to add. <laughs> okay, that's good like that. Now I'm going to make the bread crumb mixture for the top of this. Got one cup of panko crumbs, and I've got about three tablespoons of butter, and I'm going to mix this together just until we get a nice crumble. We don't want it too gummy, you know what I'm saying? So we just want to make sure that the butter is coating all the crumbs. And then we're going to take this. And we're going to sprinkle it all over our casserole here. This is going to give it a nice crunch on the top. Y'all let me know, what do you put on top of your tuna noodle casserole? I want to know. I've heard Ritz crackers, regular crackers, regular bread crumbs, potato chips. <laughs> okay, it's ready to go in my oven that's been preheating at 400 degrees for about 15 to 20 minutes. All we're looking for are the breadcrumbs on the top of this casserole to be nice and toasty brown. And then that way we know that the casserole is heated through. I'll be back. going in for my bite. Y'all, check out your pantry, your refrigerator, pull some items together and make a meal. Mmm. That is so good. I love those panko crumbs on the top. It gives it a little crunch too. Those dumpling noodles. Oh my gosh. Mmm. The peas. Mm.
Okay. Okay. I challenge you to make your own white sauce for this. It is so delicious and better than any can you could put in a tuna noodle casserole. All right. I'm shifting. You know why? I'm going to show you a few items here that you can go check out. I'll meet you over there. Don't forget my thumbs up. Comment down below if you're new. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification so you'll always know when my shows are posted. I will see you on my next episode.